So we may have an El Nino later in the year, but what exactly does that mean? Well, it's a warming of the central and eastern equatorial Pacific waters. Very difficult to predict, certainly as far as the strength is concerned. And it's just one factor of many which influence weather patterns. Now, there's been some talk about there possibly being less of a tropical season as a result of this. And let's talk about the different types of El Ninos. If we get a warming of the eastern equatorial waters of the Pacific, there have been studies that have shown that we get less of an incidence of tropical systems as a result and that is because the wind shear tends to increase across the basin. But if we get a warming of the central Pacific waters, then the opposite is true. We tend to get an above average incidence of tropical systems. And so we don't know exactly where it would occur if it occurs at all. And uh, the bottom line then is that the jury is out as regards the tropical system. And on top of that, in El Nino years, we've had some very strong storms, including Andrew and in 2004, Charlie, Francis, Ivan and Jean. Now, one part of the country would really be looking forward to an El Nino, and that is California, where the drought has been terrible. If it were to go into the winter months, then that typically means more storms coming into the West Coast, and that typically means more wet weather and perhaps some drought relief. So let's hope so for the sake of California.